Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studios, and I'm here with an exporting tutorial for you guys. Now you guys can guys see I can have my hand on the screen, unless I <laughs> I have to edit it out. But um, and that's when is uh, exporting is actually really really easy and um uh, simple and open tune. So I have this little animation I did a little while ago. First of all, I will show you um, and I won't show you. I can't show you the song because the song is might be copyrighted actually. So. What you do is you go to file all the way down to preview and you guys can see your animation. So I'm just make this window a bit bigger. So then we can do the um where is it? Reset view. Here we go. That didn't seem to help. Alright, so you just zoom out a little bit and then you can show you the animation. I'm gonna to try to export this one I made a little while ago and so I wanna export it to a video, which is good. In open you actually can go directly from your animation to a video because I know sometimes in some softwares such as like flash you gotta go to an SWF first but um, in opportunities you can do what you want so what you wanna do is set up the parameters for your animation in output settings so our animation seems to go down to 160 so what we wanna do is go to file and output settings and what we can do is set the parameters for our animation so as you guys can see it's in 1080p um, all you gotta do is set the aspect ratio and the pixels, and you can go down. Let's see where we want. We want to go from TIF to MOV, or for some of you guys, will be AVI up here. Now, the way I have MOVs is that I downloaded the QuickTime Essentials. I actually don't have the player itself, but I downloaded the QuickTime Essentials and I get MOV because MOV is a little bit more compressed than AVI and has a little bit more options. As you can see, if we click, if we click options, we get this other window I can click on. And we can go get some settings. So we're gonna make it a video. We're gonna want 24 frames per second because that's what's in our animation. Best quality, like this, and that's fine. <clears throat> For you AVI users that will have AVI up here, your thing will be uncompressed or one of these um, guys. I'm not really sure what those are. So um, with that, we're gonna go back down to MOV, and we're going to set up just what we did. So that's good. And uh, it always opens a couple times. I don't know why. And with that, we should be good for our animation. However, what we want actually is for our output is not to end at um, 3,383 because that's not how our long an our animation goes. So we'll set that endpoint to 160 as we locate it on our um, X sheet. So now everything is set up. We have a great export for our animation. So if you guys are wondering where this export is going to go, if you guys go to your PC and then um, your, I believe you had to go to like, I think something I'll sh I'll leave a link I'll leave a of file passage in uh, in the editing of the video but yeah I'll show you guys that so we hit render it'll take a little bit of a while to render so um, <clears throat> if you guys are wondering the MOV and the AVI also count for um they also count for um, audio and video so you guys should be good with that so now that we have this rendered file it comes out like this. Oh well, I didn't do. I did. I actually did something wrong. If one thing, if you guys, if you guys' stage is white like this and then it renders all black, you got to go to X sheet scene settings and then set this camera beat background color to white. And actually, the reason it's still transparent is that you got to drag this M up to here so it's actually white when you render it. So now that we have that, we can go to preview. Actually, we can go to render, and then it'll render the correct way. So just if you guys were confused about that, that's what. That's what happens when um, you don't um, set up your X sheet settings correctly, which it doesn't do by default. I believe there's a way you can do it in preferences, but I'm not, I'm not actually too sure. So <clears throat> once this is done, we can check our file passage, which would be our OpenTunes output folder uh, for whatever project we're in. Let me get this out of here. And that should be good. So I'll leave a file passage in the editing of this video, possibly in the description. I'll tell you guys where to go. I'm not really sure about MacBooks um, or, or how their file passages work, but I'm sure it's going to be too different. So now we have our rendered file, and yes, it will lag a little bit when you play it, so I'm just going to hit the pause, hit the brakes on that one. <laughs> so yeah, it does lag a little bit when you play the actual rendered file, but that is to be expected. Opportunity gets a little bit of trouble when it, you do that. So um, with that, I think I'll probably end the video here, and I'll probably, I'll probably show you guys the rendered version of this video so thank you guys so much for watching 
um, I'm so excited for the amount of subscribers we have now. It's just it's been a crazy, crazy adventure in this YouTube sort of tutorial making. So um, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.